What's up, party people? This is Jude Snowboarder here from Facebook, Jude's Junk, Facebook comic book shop and YouTube channel, and this is our Jude's Junk Lair. You know, a lot of people have been talking about the CGC scam, and I've been paying attention real closely. I don't know, I hit right before, about a day before Christmas, which was four days ago, five days ago, and everybody was speculating, and then they found the shoot, the, the, the shooting gun, the hot gun, the, the, the silver bullet, whatever, that caught the guy. And then uh, CG puts, CGC puts out an announcement today, which was very positive. And a lot of people are, are worried. A lot of people, me included, you know, what's going on? Um, uh, should I be stop selling big books for now? Should I stop buying big books from now? You know, $1,500, $2,000 books. Um, I just sold this book. Jude's Junk is a play on words because we specialize in really high-end books. But this is a Foom number no. 2, 9.6, signed by Steranko. So the buyers are out there. They're buying my big books. They are not buying all my 9.8s that are like $100 to $200. <laughs> that money is dried up. So what that tells me is the people with money still have money, and the people who had a little bit of money ran out of money. So not only has November and December of uh, 23 been very very slow but they say you know november december january you know with christmas uh, it's a real good time to buy um real bad time to sell but anyway cgc puts out this announcement that uh they're on it and i gotta tell you this is this is the feds are involved people i, I haven't brought this up yet but interstate selling Cross state boundaries, multiple states affected sellers in one state, buyers in another state. That's interstate. That's FBI. That's federal. You get into mail fraud, that's federal. This isn't local police. This is national feds are on this dude. Hey, if you can get away with it and you can steal and rip people off, there's a lot of people that make a living being thieves. Uh, but as someone who uh, <laughs> used to be a delinquent, my dad spent eight years in maximum security for being on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list back in the, the 80s. Um, they'll get you. Eventually, they'll get you. And uh, they're going to get this guy. Uh, there's just so many records with eBay, and you have to provide bank accounts to get paid. Bank accounts know how to track down what the people are. There's a trail. This guy is toast. <laughs> so... And they're going to find out other guys that are going to be toast, too, because they're going to do really start to look into... Uh, all the reholder people process. They're going to have an independent person looking into this, uh, uh, or what they say, private eye, trying to figure out, okay, who else is taking advantage of us? Because their name is at stake, and their name is multiple million dollar uh, business. So they're going to find this guy. They're going to find other guys. They're going to post the CGC numbers online so everybody can know what had happened. And people are worried about, should I stop buying comic books right now? Should I stop buying big slab comic books right now? And I get it. I had the same feeling. But the more this has gone on, the more this has become clear. This is federal crimes. Um, eBay is involved. Um, the, the banks that are involved. You're paying for an item on eBay through your credit card. So I've had errors with CGC and PayPal Goods and Services before. And if PayPal Goods and Services doesn't get on the stick and get me my refund right away... I just call up a uh, credit card and say, cancel it. They've never shipped it. And PayPal will then light a, f I mean, credit card company will light a fire under PayPal to process that refund promptly. So you're covered by eBay, NAD, just not as described. And then now there's going to be loggle lawsuits uh, that you can apply behind eBay. Uh, they're going to have to take it back. If you paid for it, PayPal Goods and Services, they're going to have to take it back. These are big companies. Your credit card company, you pay for PayPal Goods and Services and eBay with your credit card company. It's all insured. It's all insured. So the insurance companies will be paying the losses, not the collectors, if the collectors are paying attention. This is my belief. Uh, not if the collectors are paying attention and, and, and go track down their stuff. This is why I'm starting to fill out that um, CGC ID number on my CLZ app. So I, I have 500 slabs, so I gotta go in and put the CGC number um, in all my fields on my CLZ app, because now it's all of a sudden critical. CGC and CBCF have both made mistakes. And I know their guarantee is somewhat fishy per some of the people online. I've been watching Swags and some other people. 
um, they're going to go above and beyond what they legally put on their guarantee. Uh, they have more than made me whole. I sent in three uh, Peach Momoko 9.8 books to get signed by her. They lost all three. So they were, they were $130 slabs. I had them cracked and pressed, so CGC gets raw books. And then they were supposed to be signed by uh, Peach Momoko. Well, they lost them, but they were insured at 400 That was the number I put on my uh, form. And they paid me 1200 bucks for three raw books that probably you could get on the street for 30 to $50 each. Um, I'm not saying I took advantage of them because they did cost me <laughs> uh, $130 each. And then, you know, I, I lost the ability. I only bought them for the, the CGC signing, so I wouldn't have even bought them and, and gone through all this hassle. So uh, they made me more than whole. Same thing with CBCS. They lost 30 crane books. <laughs> 30 crane books. And they made me whole. Very well whole. So these companies, they're going to stand back. They're going to help, especially if the reholding issue is something uh, where they couldn't tell it was tampered with or whatever their process is. Maybe there's a, an error in their process and they're going to find that out. So I just say that between eBay, PayPal Goods and Services, your credit card company, and CGC, I'm not going to be afraid to buy big books. Yeah, I'm going to spend a couple seconds and check the CGC's number. In fact, I bid on auctions all the time. I don't even do that, especially with these $200 books. No one's going through that much trouble for those. Now, the bigger books, I, I haven't bought some in a couple months, but I'm going to be uh, double checking. You know, Warren Buffett obviously says, when others are fe fearful, get greedy. When they are greedy, get fearful. I've been spending a lot on slabs, nine, eight slabs this last three months. I think this is the ideal time to buy. I think 2003 was bad, uh, crashing. Uh, and like a lot of people said, starting to get down to below the 2019 numbers before the boom. Uh, you got the election coming next year and all sorts of shenanigans. You know, macroeconomics comes into play. People's uh, willingness to spend money and stop being afraid. So um, the Biden administration is going to start lowering interest rates just so people think he lowered interest rates because he wants to get the votes. There's no way he's going to let interest rates be horrible and worse, if not worse, than nine months prior to the election. So you're going to start seeing um, inflated, going the opposite way, interest rates to make Biden look good. And then there's the... the um, uh, the Trump supporters who are going to see him on the ballot, they're going to start getting excited. So um, the economy is going to look like it's getting better, even though it might not be. And um, there, I expect some things to turn around. I think a lot of people do. So I'm not being afraid and I'm buying a lot. And I'm a little nervous because we this could go from the floor. <laughs> the, this whole comic book industry, this could drop another 50%, which is uh, frightening. But that's the game. <laughs> that's the game. When I was collecting in the 80s and 90s, I spent 60 cents on a book. I rode five miles on my bike, carried back the little newsstand in the little plastic bag from the bookstore, tried to keep them in as best shape as I can. It was a 60 cent book. And, I, and if it went up to five, it was gold. It was a jackpot. So uh, that's what I did when I didn't have any money. I bought little books and hoped they went up by 100%. Um, Nowadays, I'm buying bigger books. I'm going to stop getting into $50 books, $100 books. And in fact, going into next year, I'm going to stop even getting into under 200 because a lot of those buyers have dried up. They're just like running for the hills. They're they're like how I felt in 92. I'm out. And when I went out in 92, I went out for 30 years. So I understand getting bit and getting burned and being like, this is not even fun. And a lot of people are leaving and they'll come back and there'll be collectors that stick around. And uh, I am going to pick up, if I stuck around in those 90s to pick up some of the Hulk 181s and the, the even the the, the um, Amazing Spider-Man 300, oh, I should have <laughs> gotten uh, hundreds of those, you know. So anyways, guys, uh, I, this is my strategy. A lot of people are being afraid. They're not buying. They're not buying the big slabs. The prices are going to fall, especially with auctions. If people aren't buying, the auction prices are going to go down because you just took out 30, 40, 50% of the buyers who buy these big books. They're going to wait to see what kind of numbers CGC provides. And these numbers are going down. And I'm taking advantage of it. I don't know if you can or if you want to or if you feel the same way, but 
I thought I'd share uh, my thoughts with you and uh, I'm getting some killer deals on some auctions, the little known sites. Don't go to the big sites. There's there's going to be a flood of big auctions coming up in January and people are broke. And I don't know what these auction sites are thinking other than this is the time that people need to move their books. So they're throwing them on these auction sites. They have a friend, you know, they don't know which auction site to use because they're selling their grandpa's books that died and he left all these books. There's some huge auctions coming up in January, 2024. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to be buying more. And uh, I think I'm covered as long as I'm paying with credit card, eBay, and when you have a third-party auction house involved and CGC. Um, this is a federal crime, and someone's paying it. And it's most likely the insurance companies of these large companies, not us little guys. So if that makes you feel better. Have fun. Happy New Year.